Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, if you haven't already seen the title or the thumbnail, um, yes, I am building a house. You guys always ask me to like show you how to build a house or something like that. So today I have taken it upon myself that I want to try a new style, not a new style. Honestly, it's not a new style. I do this style. I wanted to challenge myself to recreate a house I found, found on the internet. I found three different style homes. Obviously, I found many more, but these are the three that I love the most. I posted them on my Instagram and I made a poll. And house number two ended up coming in first place with 42%. So we're going to be building house number two. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I am so scared because it's going to be hours for me and it's going to be minutes for you guys. But you know what? It's worth it. I am scared. <laughs> Most likely just gonna be the exterior. If I have time though, I will try to decorate the interior, okay? All right, so let's get started. I am building this house on a 50 by 50 plot. The color scheme and patterns on this house are very interesting and cool looking for me. So we're gonna be using the color black and gray and it looks like some dark wood. I'm not sure if this is the back of the house or the front of the house. That is the back of the house. I was looking at the back of the house. Oh. Anyways, so for the front of the house, as you guys can tell, we have like a very big high rise entrance which is already intimidating enough <laughs> we're gonna go 12 little squares up. is it unit squares i'm sorry i haven't gone <laughs> we're gonna go 12 squares up um i think it's unit squares no 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 we're gonna, let's not include math in this right now that's already a problem i'm so scared to even place okay we're gonna make the first pillar here this is how it's looking like right now not 100 percent sure because there is some textures that i need to figure out but definitely two stories and then it goes all the way a little bit to the back like the entrance is pretty big honestly and i kind of do like that high ceiling through there's two big windows and one small window so for the small window we'll need like two cubes and then for two big windows we'll need like three cubes each so that's that and then we have like this gray wash thing with like the trees which is like three cubes and then we have a pillar that's how i measure my things okay when i'm building <laughs> all right so we have that part of the wall we're not gonna move on to the top yet because there is like and then for the entrance it looks like you go in like three and then you extend out like a good amount like, make it even two four six eight and then we're just gonna repeat the same thing over here but the only difference is that over here it looks like a wall and it's not a pillar and there is a tree in the middle but we're just gonna extend this walk here and then it extends to i don't know where so we're just gonna have to use our imagination for this part which i love but sometimes it can be quite stressful a five the same thing just this is kind of like a trust the process but because i am doing it maybe don't trust the process because lower your expectations that's all i gotta say <laughs> that's that that looks okay for now so let's delete this start from here take it all the way over here across the world and oh it's not the same there we go wait a minute something's wrong here <laughs> mm, no that looks more like it from the bottom and from the top so we're gonna leave it like that we're just gonna fix that really fast and so far this is how it's looking like and then literally just place the exact same window on top let me show you how you're gonna turn this wall that looks crusty and dusty into something wonderful and delicious are you ready color your windows black and then color the walls black front and back boom you're gonna start off with one and to make your life easier and less complicated go ahead and color this first pillar of yours <laughs> trust me you're gonna save yourself a lot of time and just literally do this i finished with the wall and i just realized that it's not the entire wall but i mean you can make it the entire wall if you really wanted to this is my favorite part where you can mix colors look not mix them like mix them but paint random ones to look that color not all of them but just random ones and just paint those two like that not gonna lie that was the first time i ever tried that but honestly it works pretty good back of this wall just color it the basic color that you normally use that the first color you use for the first pillar for the window and doors all i did was the exact same thing i did for these windows right here lighting just really depends on how much light you want if you want a lot of lighting or a little bit of lighting so this part is up to you
all right you guys so this is how it, the house is looking like so far we have done a good amount of progress so now we have these little stairs going down which i really like and we're literally going to repeat the same process again so this is what i did i added the windows on the first floor and the second floor then i went with the tiles that the picture has which are gray but i noticed that some of the tiles are different colors i tried my best to make it look like it but honestly i think it looks worse there. so that's where we're at right now and then i don't know what happens here maybe it connects i'm not sure boom we have a roof now i am so sorry if sometimes i sound like very low that's just my concentration voice because i'm actually trying to think of what i'm gonna do because i can't think and speak at the same time over here we're gonna go ahead and add the flooring that's right here then i also do notice a little chimney on the top of here and then boom we have that little type of we have that chimney looking type thing i don't know if you can see the detail out of here but it's just like very small detail nothing that important you don't have to add it if you don't want to also the roof here is actually the wooden tiles Okay, so we're done. I try to recreate it as much as possible. Um, the landscaping, um, <laughs> yeah, that's not it. But anyways, we're just gonna like, pretend that this whole entire thing is filled up with like plants and everything. But I ran out of money, so <laughs> so I'm finished with the house layout. Quotation marks. This is how it's looking like. I do not hate it. I don't hate it. I actually do not hate it. I actually quite love it. Um. I didn't expect it to turn out like this. I say it turned out better than my expectations. Of course, the inside I'm not going to finish because I've been working on this house for like three hours already and um, I'm pretty tired. The backyard. <laughs> so decorated. Like, wow. Can you get... I gave up on the backyard. It was just going to be so much. But with landscaping and stuff like that, this will look beautiful. Trust me. And then you go up these little stairs and you can kind of feel like a little cooking station or like grill station you know type thing outdoor station and over here is like a little relaxing station let me know if you guys want to see me decorate this house i would definitely be willing to but like look how the light comes in through the windows beautiful and then just having this tree like in the middle oh my goodness then we have this open roof here and i forgot to show you guys the open roof in the backyard you have another open roof let me show you guys the layout now. So I'm going to give you guys a bird's eye view. This is also going to be my Google Docs. So you can check it out there for better photo quality. This is the first floor. This is like a bedroom. Or you can make any room, whatever room you want. And this is the second floor. But yeah, you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did end up enjoying it, please consider subscribing. It is totally free as well as liking today's video. Commenting down below if you're part of today's video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have been showing me. And all my social media links are linked in the description. And without further ado, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys like this little build and you guys learned something new because i definitely did too because these wooden things i didn't know <laughs> but yeah see you guys next time bye